Hello guys, uh, my name is Noel and um, today I'm going to answer one of the questions that uh, uh, someone asked me, uh, Christine, um, asked me a couple of days ago on uh, the last video that I made, <coughs> which is of course uh, about a year old. I haven't really been doing any video so far. Um, the reason being I was quite busy with my master's research and um, from Europe and I have shifted back to Africa so uh, I had to spend some time on catching up other things uh, so so the question was um, if the if the bamboo frame which I made on, on the on the other video uh, she was asking me if if you could make uh, a roof structure with a with the same method as I did, and um, yes, uh, of course, uh, you can do the same thing, but um, there is also an an easy way uh, to do that. But I'm just going to show you both of them today. So I have a cup of uh, I have these two models, which both of them are the same it's just a copy of it and I'm just going to demonstrate two ways um, on on these two models uh, so the first one would be of course the uh, using the the curtain preset patterns which are already uh, preset within uh, Revit itself and uh, what I'm going to do now right now is that uh, I've already created a frame for this um, Which is this one, and uh, if you have if you have no idea on how I made it, uh, you can refer to my previous video. Um, this video making of bamboo frame, and uh, on it you will find uh, I have already explained on how you can make a frame like this one. So I'm just going to load this family uh, onto family one in here, and uh, since uh, as you might have noticed that uh, I used um, a cutting pattern family of rectangles so um, what I'm going to do now is that um, I'll be just going to the presets and then on the rectangle then here I have my family too so immediately when I click this one up uh, Revit will automatically load it up and then there you have it so uh, this could be the first method and if you assume that the top surface is actually uh, a roof member this could actually uh, work so it's a, it's, it's, it's a very easy um, it's a very easy method and uh, it's very straightforward so um, and uh, I would also say the advantage of this one is that um, you have an ability to play with um with the actual with the actual pattern. So, for instance, if your truss, if your roof uh, truss is way more complicated, you have already these preset tools which you can use and you can uh, you can make a, a your roof as complicated as you can. And uh, I'm just going to load all these uh, two uh, masses to my project. Okay, so we have already loaded our models into our project. Now, the method which I'm going to use on the second option, which I would re also recommend uh, in case you find this one a, a little bit more difficult, uh, is called, uh, uh, we are going to create the same trusses, but this time we're going to use a cutting system. Now, uh, you might ask that, okay, why are we, we why are we using cutting system? Can't we use um, another system? Of course, yes, there is a way uh, where we can use a sort of a cutting system on a horizontal plane. And this one, you can get it um, by accessing the option called sloped glazing. But the weakness of the sloped glazing is that um, if your surfaces are a little bit complicated, then the roof will be divided unevenly. So, for instance, if you if your if your shape is so complicated, it has maybe some sort of waves, some sort of curves, then the roof will be split, and it will be somewhat difficult to control it. And sometimes you might get an option says cannot create roof. So, just to solve it, 
I think curtain system option works is much more better. So I'm just going to use that one instead. So I'm just going to pick this one, then I'm going to hit create system. And you'll see that immediately we have grids running all the way around, which are somewhat a uh, little bit similar to this one. Now, of course, this works as a sim as a very, this works as just like a, as any curtain uh, wall you have or curtain system you have. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to tweak a little bit of the of the preset settings. So for instance, um, in one of the grid, I might say I, I don't want any grid at all. So delete grid lines so that I remain with only one grid. <coughs> also, a curtain panel, I might choose empty. And then, of course, on a grid two, in on the the, the one grid which has remained, I can choose to assign, let's say maybe a 50 millimeter radius, circular medium, and then immediately you see that uh, it's starting to get uh, to look as similar as <coughs> our, our our other model. You can also try to um, control the distance, and this is you can really see the 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 potential of using this method over this one that you can actually control the span within your project you don't have to go back to conceptual massing and you don't have to worry about the size because sometimes the masses they produce quite a huge size and um so i'm just going to change uh, real <coughs> the view to realistic so that at least we can see the uh, materials First of all, I'm going to change the radius to 75, so that it's at least longer than 50, something which I'm used to. Um, I'm going to name this materials bamboo, and then I will load, I will load um, a preset material. Oh, sorry, I, I, I will load a, a custom image texture file. Gonna go to edit and then I will um, change the dimension. First, I'm going to unlink this one so that it doesn't change proportionally, and I'm gonna assign this one to um, say 4,000. This one maybe to 150. So yes, uh, so this is how uh, it is in this case. So um, you can you can you, you can try both of the two methods, and then you try to see which one, of course, uh, works better for you. Uh, either way, um, I hope you understand. Uh, I hope it was very easy for you to to get the workflow. Uh, so thank you for watching my video and uh, in case you have any question about anything within Revit, just comment uh, in a comment section and then I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and goodbye.